How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Master Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review. It's big stout time, man. I mean, we're doing it. It's happening right now. We're doing Magnify Brewing's Yurtle. I think that's how you say it. It is their Imperial Stout brewed with pecans or pecans, whatever you want to call it. Own that shit. Uh, caramel or caramel, again, own that shit. Chocolate and coconut, son. Um, I've never had this before. We're going to drink it and see what's what. It's typical magnify on the can. Um, and this can comes courtesy of Dave. Thank you very much, homie. Um, ended up bumming getting to Dave um, at Cypress Brewing. Um, and it's in New Jersey. I was there interviewing um, Cypress. And he just kind of was like, hey, man, from outside. The, they were setting up for like their uh, anniversary thing. He was like, hey, man, enjoy the reviews. Went over chat for a bit. After I did uh, the interview, ended up hanging out, chugging a bunch of beer. So I appreciate it, brother. Um, super, super awesome of you. Because I'm kind of in the mood for a big, huge, I was in at 13% stout. So, yeah. Expecting motor oil and pastry goodness. So, let's dive in. I'm kind of, I forgot to wash this glass. I haven't used this one in a couple weeks. So, might be a little dusty. So, I apologize going into it. So, let's see what the sucker has. Give that the proper gigantic pour. There you go. Got stout all over my hand. It makes it taste better, by the way. So, yeah. Uh, there was a head there, but it just, I mean, dropped out super quick. Like, uh, you know, there's over a pinky finger of what I like my coffee to look like colored head. But now you have nothing. Why? Why is that like that? Well, it could be my dirty ass glass. I don't think it's that dirty. Like I said, I clean my glasses like crazy. But it's been sitting for a week, so there might be a little dust in there. But here's the thing. Coconut. There's coconut in this sucker. A lot of times when they brew with coconut, the oils will just kill heads out. So I have no problem with that. It might still be carbonated. I actually see bits and pieces of carbonation kind of floating on the edges. I actually see a little bit of coconut actually floating in the beer itself. So I'm going to guess there's a little bit of uh, coconut oil in this sucker. So she's motor oil. Actually, it's not motor oil. I'm lying to you right now. She's like the darkest brown you could possibly imagine. She's not like Imperial Stout Black. She's like super robust barley wine brown. Look at the nose. Yeah, man, she doesn't come off like all that much stout wise. She comes off way more like barley wine. Like there's rich, rich brown maltiness, not burnt or Let's retract that. Not like dark roasted black maltiness with a little bit of kind of burnt astringency and like all that bits and pieces. It's more like caramel vibes. A little bit of kind of sugar daddy vibes. A little bit of kind of toffee vibes in there as opposed to like rich, deep, dark, brown, bl 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 words, black maltiness. Yeah. And then when you get a little bit of that kind of lactose in there, and you get that soft coconut, it just makes you want to think of like a kind of rich New England, New England, England style kind of barley wine-esque kind of beer as opposed to like a big imperial stout. Yeah, it definitely comes off sweet. I mean, the lactose kind of puts it that way. Um, when you get into that maltiness, there's not this rich kind of darkness and this kind of roasted maltiness that ends up coming off slightly astringent. It's all sweetness. You're getting the sweetness from the malt. You're getting the sweetness from the coconut. You're getting that sweetness from the vanilla. It just comes off more like an English barley wine-esque old ale than a stout to me. Let's dive in. Cheers. You actually get a bit of that kind of roasted malt in there. So it adds a little bit of bittering. 
the beer. Uh, so it kind of ends up balancing it out a little bit. So it doesn't come off totally all sweetness, but it's definitely sweet. You get that caramel in there. You get that chocolate in there. You get that um, rich, sweet kind of coconut in there. It's not like a burnt, charred coconut. It's more of like a sweet kind of like if you took like coconut water and reduced that down and took that kind of sweet coconut water and end up extracting that into a beer it ends up coming off that way as opposed to a toasted coconut but there's a toasted component in there from the uh, roasted malt which ends up like i said kind of bouncing everything off carbonation's low that's your coconut i play i assume yeah it's tasty it's fun it's nice Lack of carbonation kind of like dings it a little bit, but at the same time, I like it. Um, it comes off more s'moring to me than anything else. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You know, you're talking about your coconut and that lactose. It has like a lactose vibe to it. And coconut and la that lactose kind of lend itself to being a kind of s'more beer once you kind of add in that kind of pecan, which comes off a little bit more kind of nutty maltiness, which gives you those graham cracker vibes. You're talking about the chocolate, kind of adds that additional layer to it. It's fun. It's nice. It, it, it's sweet, but it doesn't come off overly sweet because of that roasted maltiness. I think it's fun. It just, it, you know, coconut's fun. Coconut's not just fun. It's fucking delicious. But for me, coconut shows the best when it's derived from a barrel. Unless you're like some wizard and you do it the way that like Funky Buddha does it. With some of their toasted coconut stuff. But when you're starting to put like a real legit coconut in beer. Like uh, this is that way. There's like an other half beer. I forget what it was. To where there's like legit coconut in it. It just kills the carbonation. Once you kill out carbonation and everything gets flat. It, it, the beer tends to lose a bit of luster. It loses a bit of oomph. Lose a bit of kind of liveliness. And I think some of these beers it's not some a lot of these beers need that in order to deliver the flavors they want to deliver and deliver them the way they want them to be delivered so it's tasty it's fun it's nice but just kind of stop short of being something excellent and i think the lack of carbonation because of that coconut oil kind of dumbing everything down kind of curbs that a little bit that's just me, though. But it's fun. I dig it. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about it. It's one of the better Imperial Stouts with coconut I've had as of late. Sure. Yes. No. I don't know. But it's fun. It's unique. I'm not sad. I drank it at the same time. It's not something I would probably, like, try to, like, track down again. If that makes any sense. Um, Vagate availability. It was given to me. Lucky enough that had that happen. But I assume this is something you have to wait in line for. And leave you with if you like what well, you like this. If you like coconut. Or if you carbonation bothers you in beer. But you like imperial stouts. It, it just ends up coming off like a little bit too flat. To be exciting. But if you like beers to be a little bit. If you like aged beers. If you like you know oxidation in beer. I can get down with that. But if you just like beers to be a little bit less aggressive but at the same time be bigger in ABV and be a bit impactful do you proper or if you like coconut and imperial stouts then track it down so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did didn't anywhere in between down there words and stuff uh, massive beers if you want to check me out on the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review Hopefully enjoying a nice big imperial stout right now and hopefully see you next time. Cheers.